my name is Annette A. Aguilar, and today we're going to talk about the tumbao. But basically, we're going to be talking about the sounds of the conga, the tumbarola, really, which is the conga, and how you can produce the sounds to play the tumbao with the best approach. And so I'm going to start first with, uh, of course, no rings. First thing is I kind of look at, take my two hands and make like a diamond. And the tumbao is basically first, the sounds we want to produce is that's your basic tumbao on one drum. Because basically, in the 40s and the 50s, it was just one drum that they used. So let's start first what they call the palm tip, or what we call heel or toe, like your feet. You got heels and toes. Well, your hands have palms and tips and heels and toes. Let's start with the hand, with the palm and the tip, and put the hand right down on the conga drum, okay? And produce this type of sound that will help, if, which is your left hand. Technique to learning how to play and to developing how to play a tumbao. The speed. Now here's a, a close slap. So we'll start with one and two. One and two. Now this is a close slap compared to what an open slap is. This is your open slap, heel, toe, slap. Then toe, heel, toe, open, open. But you see, as I do the open sound, I have to lift this hand up. If I don't lift the hand up, it produces the closed sound. A heel, toe, slap, then a toe, heel, toe, open, open. Your hand needs to be up in order to produce the open sound because the drum, in the conga drum, there's all kinds of different sounds that can be produced by your hand. And what is, I have my, I am doing an open tone sound. And then slightly, I just slightly move my hand. Now look how my hand is. Like, I'm not putting my thumb out here. I call it the, the hitchhiking thumb, but we don't want the hitchhiking thumb. We want the thumb to kind of stay in there to be, to be able to produce the open tone slaps. These are the reasons for the tumbao being played. Now I'm not going to put that slap too hard, the close slap. Let's start again with the tumbao, counting so you know where you are in between heel, toes, and slaps, and open sounds. First I'll just say it before I count. Heel, toe, slap, toe, heel, toe, open, open. Heel, toe, slap, toe, heel, toe, open, open. Heel, toe, slap. Toe, heel, toe, open, open. Heel, toe, slap, toe, heel, toe, open, open. Toe, slap, toe, heel, toe, open, open. Now I'm going to count it. And it's always very important to count when you're learning something. With the metronome, it shows that how accurate you are and where you are within the downbeat. We're talking 4-4. Four, four. I'm talking uh, counting eighth notes. Okay, so here's one and two and three and four and 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 one and two and three four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and one and two. Now here's the pulse. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. When you're counting different, now that's more like sixteenth. One, 